Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today it's all about the window cling. We are going to be using some different wi Christmas window clings on projects and just make them come alive and be beautiful for our Christmas decor. So let's get crafting, guys. So a while back I had purchased this decorative rolling pin from a thrift store and it had this floral on it and when I ripped the floral off there was a big hole. <laughs> so for these projects I'm going to be using Martha Stewart in brick red and then Valspar in white just using up some paint I have. For that rolling pin I took the floral off, exposed that hole and gave it a coat of white paint on the base. Now the handles I came back in off camera and I gave them a coat of the brick red. For the white I only did one coat but for the handles I did do two coats. Now this hole. <laughs> now granted your rolling pin wherever you may find it probably won't have a big hole in it. What was nice about this rolling pin is it was flat on the bottom and I really wanted to use this North Pole Bake Shop window cling. So I just took some printer paper, I shoved it in that hole to kind of fill in the gap, and I took another piece of printer paper and cut it down to size to Mod Podge on top of it. I knew the window cling would hide it, and I needed something for the window cling to stick to <laughs> so that it wouldn't, like, you wouldn't be able to press in. I was afraid of it coming off. So I just used some Mod Podge and I put a piece of printer paper on top of the hole and then I flipped my window cling over and added Mod Podge to the back of that. Since this isn't glass, this isn't just going to, you know, adhere to it like it would a window. So this is going to be a permanent solution here with my window cling. And you guys need to count how many times I say window cling in this video because <laughs> I feel like I've already said it 20 times. But this is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. After I had it where I wanted it, I came back in with some more Mod Podge and I went over the front of it. I don't know if this like helps it to secure it down. I'm hoping so. <laughs> I came in with my diamond nail file from Dollar Tree and I started distressing. I went around the edges and then I went around the whole middle section and I also did the handles. That's why I only gave it one coat of paint. I knew I was going to be distressing it. I knew there was gray underneath the white and if I distressed it, it would bring this, the gray out to give that wood effect and it worked and I was really really loving this piece right now. So I knew I wanted to tie it all together by adding some ribbon. Look at that distressing. It looks vintage and old. It's crazy that this is a plastic piece. I came in with some buffalo chuck in red and black and all I did was tie it around the edges. I didn't do a bow. I just tied it on both ends. And this is just so cute. I've watched other DIYers make some rolling pin videos and I've wanted one for so long. I knew I had this in my stockpile and I knew I could use it for this project. And I'm so happy with how this turned out. And the window cling on here is just absolutely gorgeous. So project number two, I had this candlestick that I had attached a mirror to. 
I used E6000 back in the day, so this mirror was not coming off of this candlestick. And I have been using this probably for many years, and I just wanted to upgrade it. I needed a candlestick for my Christmas decor, so this worked perfectly. So I painted the base red with that brick from Martha Stewart. I painted the mirror white. I also came down on the candlestick and I painted that white also to give that illusion that it was one piece. Now, I'm still in love with the red truck. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are. You can use any window cling that you want. Dollar Tree sells candlesticks and they also sell the mirror. So I know you'd be able to, if you want to recreate this, purchase those to do this. Then again, using Mod Podge, I positioned the red truck where I wanted it on the mirror. I trimmed it down and then I put Mod Podge on the back of the window cling and attached it to the mirror. Um, which has been now painted white. <laughs> and then I came back in and I Mod Podged over the whole piece, securing it hopefully, plus it gives it a nice little sheen too. And I just, oh my gosh, I'm like addicted to using window clings on projects now. I came with my hair dryer, dried it up real good, and grabbed some of my favorite Christmas ribbon and just tied a bow around it, did not hot glue it, didn't attach it. I just wrapped it around and made a little bow. And I think that little poofy bow on this kind of ties in with the red truck and super cute, super simple and easy to make. My next two projects are going to be using some of the tall white candles from Dollar Tree and of course some more window clings, which I did get all my window clings from Dollar General. I really wanted to use this vintage Santa. He's just so cute, it reminds me of my childhood and he's really big. So what's awesome about this is he fits he wraps all around the candle so it looks like just one cohesive piece like you bought the candle that way since these are glass candles you don't need mod podge for this next two projects i trimmed him down because he was a little bit too big for the candle and i put him on the candle and wrapped him all the way around like i said it's so nice using these tall candles from dollar tree and the very large window clings because it wraps all the way around and it looks like you bought it this way this vintage santa is just so cute oh my gosh i love him love him so for the next one i bought two of these candles and I wanted to use my snowman with the buffalo check tree. I absolutely love the window clings that Dollar General has this year. They're gorgeous. Now this snowman fit perfect. I did not have to trim him. I just put him on, did not use Mod Podge. Like I said, since we're attaching the window clean to glass, just like you would a window, it just fits right on there. Now this one wasn't as big as Santa, so he did not wrap all the way around. So I just grabbed some snowflakes off of the same sheet and I put three snowflakes going down the back. That way it made it one cohesive piece and it wrapped all the way around from any angle you saw this. So cute, so easy and affordable to make.
We're going to take a short little intermission and I recently did this video on these ornaments that I made using the plastic snowflakes from Dollar Tree and I wish I would have filmed it at night. While I was crafting, I'm looking over at my little tree that I made and these ornaments and so beautiful and I don't think I captured exactly how much these sparkle and shine. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update on that tree with those ornaments. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. I absolutely love this tree. If you missed that video, I'll put that link up top and you can click on it and go check out that video too. Okay, let's get back to the window clings. How many times have I said it, guys? So for this one, I had some window clings that had like a wood effect on them, and I knew they would go great on a wooden piece that was stained. So this was my last little bit of this chestnut stain. It's gone a long way though. I've used it for so many projects. I ended up just pouring what was in that can on here and worked with what I had. Granted, when you get to the bottom, sometimes you don't get the color you want, but it worked out. So these clings, like I said, had like a wood tone to them and I thought it would be great on a wooden piece. So I picked out Let It Snow and a couple snowflakes, repeated the same steps with flipping them over, use a Mod Podge, putting it on the piece the way I wanted it, and then putting some Mod Podge over it and just using my hair dryer to get it to dry quickly. In a recent Dollar Tree haul, I showed you guys how I got this clothesline. It came in red and white and green and white. I'm going to be using the red and white to put on the handles. Now this wooden piece, the handles um, go off. They're kind of thicker on the sides and then get skinnier in the middle. So and that's what I was trying to recreate with the clothesline. And I'm just pulling it through, but see the sides of it? I'm making the sides thicker and then I'm just doing one row in the center. I'm trying to really get the clothesline to mimic a real handle on this wooden piece. And I think the red and white really tie in and really make it pop since it's a lot of dark colors and even the let it snow. You can see the red in it, but it does blend in with the wooden piece. So I thought adding this colorful handle really would add... Um, more color and really make this piece come alive. And this is what I meant. See the sides kind of go off on an angle. So I made those sides thicker and it really resembles like a real handle on it with the skinnier part in the middle and the thicker sides. And I told you that it also comes in green and white and that is super cute too, but I thought I would use the red and white to tie in with the words that I already had, but that's the green and white. If you missed that haul, I'll leave that link above too so you guys can check it out. I just hot glued, when I came to the end, I hot glued, put a dollop of hot glue, put that over it and just use my tool to kind of blend it in so you wouldn't know where I started and where I ended.
just a little added info here. Window cleans don't have to be used just on windows or on projects. I have this huge clock upstairs and it's so cute to add some to the face of the clock. I also usually put some on my mirrors in my bathroom and that just like brings Christmas to every room. You also can add them to pictures that you have on the wall. That's really cute too. I hope you guys enjoyed my little window clean DIYs. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out a lot. And here's another video and part of my series. I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. So come back tomorrow at 2 and we'll have some more DIYs. I hope y'all are having a blessed and wonderful day. I love y'all and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye y'all.